Alright. I'll wait for it. Well, Max is, yeah, is nice enough to share it. Lime or strawberry? Where do you go first? Strawberry. Strawberry. Yeah, up here. Yeah, okay. Because the foam <laughs> wow, misled me. Right. That is Thank you, sir. This is the part where you edit. Right? I thought I thought Kate drank a lot and would be right. able to. This is gonna up. be. Like, for as much as I drink wine, I'm real bad at this. Ooh. Surprisingly. Cheers. 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 Oh, lots of uh, cheers. 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 Don't spill on the laptop. Did I bang you? Okay. Wait, you who's banging Kate? <laughs> we clanked. 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 Did it. Today on Postmortem, I am joined by four very special and awesome guests. Uh, let's start with... I'm Guy, a.k.a. Drunken Pirate. Drunken Pirate? I was gonna just be boring and say, I'm Dan, and uh, I'm a filmmaker. Although if I did, I think I would have to be Squish Commander Wang Wang. Uh, Max Heesh, I am Wrangler Raptor. Oh, different this time. Different in groups. I'm Kat Granlund, and I'm the mother of cats. Okay. <laughs> um, on the count of three, everybody, what are we watching today? One, two, three. The, the Ring! Ring! Who's excited? Woo! You have apparently a really good story about your first movie of the ring. I, I don't know if it's a good story, but it is it is like my story. Horror movies and me, not a thing. So I like successfully avoided everything horror outside of like Scooby-Doo. And then a girl asked me to go see ah, a scary movie, and I hadn't been on a date with the girl before. Manned up, right? I was like, what do you want to see? And she's like, the ring. And I was oh, like, whatever you want to see, who cares? Like, I made a... Terrible you, mistake. You didn't, you didn't get your this first kiss hair. that night, did you? No, I did oh, not. Okay. So there's the scene after the opening where they're like at the wake. Uh -huh. And and <laughs> they're like, they're doing dishes. I don't know. I'm, I'm completely safe. But I basically, I basically didn't scream or jump or anything. I just kind of went catatonic. <laughs> I'm like, nope, huh? nope. I kind of came out of it, and then, like, they're in a different scene. She's talking to some other dude. I don't know what they're talking about. Like, I lost time during the ring. And I have not seen the movie since. Good. So, I can't wait. I don't know. To this day, it's still the one this movie that has scared time. me enough to make me leave the lights on. And I did it for seven days, coincidentally. Uh, are we ready to watch? I think we are. Okay, let's do it. The Ooh. ring. God help me. Seven yeah. hours later. <laughs> Have you heard about this videotape that kills you when you watch it? You start to play it, and it's like somebody's nightmare. And as soon as it's over, your phone rings. And what they say is, you will die in seven days. I've watched it. It was a week ago. I spoke to three different doctors, and not one of them could tell me exactly what happened to my daughter. You could find out. It's what you do, isn't it? Ask questions. Show it to me. Why did you draw that house? Because he told me to. Who told you to? This little girl.
So we just watched The Ring. And we got some things to say. Mm-hmm. Nope. It says... It happened. took you two hours to draw that, by the way. No, 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 exclamation no. point. Well, first of all, that was the sep that was actually the color tones of the entire movie. Are we right? supposed to green. draw? It's, I didn't it was green draw. green to green. Someone made a joke about her having a voodoo, like, witch doctor have. She could Did not she? conceive a child, so she eventually went somewhere else. Minnesota. She to Minnesota. Yeah. She went to Minnesota. Twin Cities. Yep. Yeah. So it was actually Hawkins, Indiana. Eden Prairie. Vodka and Diet Dew makes the world go round. Hello. Hello. I made it. <laughs> you did I made it again. It. Yeah, Hi. Right. Hi. Hi. <laughs> this was a good movie. When this came out, I was pretty much in vitro. Um, <laughs> When I saw you were asking for volunteers for it, I like, before I could even doubt myself, I went, I beat game! And I went, what have I, oh my god, what have I done? Fuck, what have I done? Shit, no, oh, I can't even, shit. I don't even wanna, fuck! I grew up with the 70s and 80s films. The Omen, The Shining, The Ring. This and The Grudge were the first horror films I ever saw oh, in, god. in theaters. I slept with the lights on for days after this movie when I first saw it. You wanna know what? I will not sleep with the lights on tonight. Yes. It has aged well, I think. It's like a unique horror movie that keeps its tone and is actually scary in the way that it's made. Do you think it's because they minimalized the amount of like special effects that they used, so it was more practically terrifying? As far as it holding up? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, and there's very minimal CGI, and there's no need for it either. I find the movies that are scariest to have the religious overtones, mm. which this one, kind of touched on the surface. It's like, where'd Samara come from? Was she like from a Haitian voodoo priest? We don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Samara's last name is definitely not Morgan. <laughs> That's not happening. So to me, the the, uh, the ring was this whole late 90s, early 2000s takeoff on um, basically remaking Japanese horror movies. You know, it's it's kind of like, okay, they're watching the video tape. Bad things are going to happen. I want the occult. I want like the pagans like having sex with sheep and human sacrifice. This was the first movie that ever dealt with, like, any sort of social media. It was like, it was like the first viral video. I guess that was something I thought this time around. I, I did think, who shot that videotape? <laughs> she had to like sit down and make that videotape. Okay, I'm gonna make this chair. And <laughs> it's creepy and it's weird and, and I'm fine with it. And, and I think that, I think that's something that was discussed too that I agree with is that I think the themes are really strong. It has a mood and it sucks you in and doesn't let you go. I think that it is one of the few times that a, an American remake is better than the original. Mm, I've not seen the original, obviously. I think the story's stronger and the effects are better. Every single thing is better than the original. The acting is better, the mood is better, the fact that there's, you know, a good theme and music is better, and then the imagery alone is enough to haunt your dreams. Like okay. the horror movies being created today, take the best aspects of this, which was shock value with the video, but mixes it with historical type things, and you get this hybrid of just, ah. yeah. I continue to adore this movie, even though it scared the literal shit out of me as a kid. You actually shit because you saw this movie? Okay, maybe not that far, but like after the rain scared me shitless. <laughs> so shitless, like I had no shit left. For years. <laughs> years. Just locked up. I didn't, sh there was one night I shit. <laughs> That's that worries me a little bit, right? And yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Hey. For you, is it scarier if it's anchored in religion because then it has like rules to tie it to? Correct. Whereas... To me, that's scary because there's historical context. Right. When there's no actual real life context, then to me it's no better than you know like hostile like today's torture porn movies. Sure. It's like I'm like eh. I probably need more booze. Um. You said it's sort of a knockup of the sixth sense. What did you mean? Oh, okay. So the thing that bothered me throughout this whole thing is that I just feel like we are repeating exactly what happened in the sixth sense. But the problem with America is the moment we see something that's new to us, we're like, let's do three years of that. The ring was the first of that, which was fresh, but everything after the ring was kind of a cliche. Okay. How did this happen? Where did this kid come from? Why are horses committing suicide? That's what I want to know. It was just like, 
another Sixth Sense movie. Spoilers. <laughs> um. <laughs> this kid also apparently knew not to help Samara in the well. And that's what I, that's that's the problem I had. I was like, okay, so you know the future, but you can't help anybody from dying. You say that now the kid is annoying. Do you feel like when this film came out, it was appropriate for him to act in the way that he did? Absolutely, yeah. That was totally a thing, and it wasn't even overused at that point. God forbid he help anybody. No, <laughs> no he's just a little bitch. No, no. I hate no, no. that child. Yeah, did you hate him at the time? Yeah. <laughs> Green filter. That was a point you talked about a bunch that we've all talked about is that there's just like a green tone over this entire film. Having lived in the Pacific Northwest, um, it's not as green. Um, <laughs> you don't have green sepia tones everywhere you go. So I'll make sure everyone's clear that there is a day or two of sunshine. Got it. Um, today I faced my fears. Great. Like anyone should. And tomorrow, with alcohol, the world. <laughs> I hope that my phone doesn't ring right now. <laughs> It was just, oh, guess what? You die. This movie is fantastic. Showed your kids an appropriate age. I hope you watch a mysterious videotape. And I only have seven days to fucking live, you bitch. Or less. Or less. Why less? I'm going to have to stop. <laughs> I liked it. It's a good movie. I'm going to crawl into a hole now. Well, thanks. Wait, Oh. oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for watching The Ring with us. If you did, um, I'm thanks for being him. here. I'm giving him my good eye. <laughs> Do you remember which is your good eye? Oh my God. Let's watch The Ring again. And this oh. time we'll be quiet. I know, it, it's going to be a full circle funny. experience. So yeah. Get okay. out! Get out! <laughs> what did you say? Did you say something about ne It never matters what matters. <laughs> wow. I do support horse death.